Hello, my name's David. About six years ago, I bought a machine shop from a widow um, on eBay. It was the intention to set up a workshop at home to be able to tinker and do all sorts of things. Um, what I actually got was probably more than most people would get from eBay in, all in one go. It was a complete workshop plus tooling from a retired machinist who had built his own engine for an engine without a camshaft and he had built it I saw it um, and it was the most amazingly built thing I'd ever seen and the machines he used to do it were old school manual machines and I thought well the quality he got in this workmanship of his machine uh, of his engine if that's what he can achieve um, from these machines they're worth getting so I bought this from the widow six years ago the rump of my had I had a single garage to work in and there wasn't enough room for the machines so I had to build an extension to the machine shop to fit all the stuff in the widow kindly offered to hold on to this stuff while I built the machine shop and eight months later I was able to then collect the stuff. The machine shop consists of lathes, here's a smaller lathe, a smart and brown machine, there's a tool and cutter grinder in the corner, a whole load of tooling including dividing heads, chucks, all sorts of stuff here. Going down the workshop, as you can see, this is now the workshop complete with the machines installed. I have a Bridgeport milling machine here with rotary tables, vices, some more jigs and fixtures here, lots of scrap metal, uh, lots of milling cutters. I then have another milling machine here um, set up with a shaper unit here at the moment. Going on down the workshop, another lathe, a Holbrook machine. You don't see many of these these days. One thing I did in the past was I was a key motorcyclist and I have several machines one a Buell that still works and I use that in the summer months when the weather's good but the other ones are sitting here and I'm in the process of restoring these ready for um, setting on to create more space in the workshop another capstone lathe over there in the corner saw machines whole load of tools here and press. Apart from motorcycling I'm really into clock repair as a hobby. Um, I've restored um, several grandfather clocks, mantle clocks, wall clocks uh, for a hobby just buying old ones on eBay and then and I'm restoring them and then sold, selling a few on. Here's one I'm working at the moment, an Ansonia mantle clock. Um, strip them completely down, um, clean them. I have a machine here to clean, but I also uh, clean by hand. Um, the parts over here clean, ready for um, reassembly. Um, with the machine shop I've learnt basic um, techniques of how to use the machines but I'm by no means uh, uh, a professional at this. This is purely uh, what I've learnt off YouTube videos. Um, uh, so I'm still learning as I go along. One thing I did build was uh, um, a mainspring um, removal and insertion machine just took some plans off eBay and made this out of metal uh, on the, the milling machine and that works well so that's ready for putting the 
um, mainsprings back in the thing. Um, but what I want to do uh, future, I um, currently work at a church as a hall manager and a beadle who looks after um, services on Sunday with a minister and uh, I've got a few years yet to go till I retire but the intention is when I get to in my retirement time I will have a load of clocks that I can repair uh, uh, to make a little bit of money on the side but I want to start building my own clocks at the moment I've got um, an old grandfather clock here I've taken the mechanism out but what I want to do is um, put a grasshopper escapement which uh, can be seen from the front face so I'm going to be modifying designing the grasshopper escapement and then integrating it into an existing German run-of-the-mill um, clock mechanism and then putting it in here I want to do that the other thing I have got on my plans for things to do I've got an, a Comtois um, um, clockwork um, escapement which I want to put into a frame and uh, mount it and this is some metal work I've got here uh, an old uh, clothes machine which I'm going to make a, a long case frame for to mount the um, the movement on the top and have it as an open escapement which is really look, good to look at so got lots of plans of things to do um, and in the other time I'm going to be just getting the old bikes restored and uh, sold on so I can spend more time uh, with the clockwork so the purpose of this video is to see if there's anyone out there who wants to see me working on these um, ideas and uh, bringing clocks into fruition I'm in my mid 60s or early mid 60s um, I still reckon I've got another 20 years in me yet to uh, health provided um, to be able to work on clocks and get a good um, um, selection of things uh, achieved before I finally peg it so if that's of interest to you and you'd like to see me doing this work um, I'm by no means an instructor on anything on either using machine tools or uh, or uh, clock repair but um, my background is electronics I was an avionic electronic engineer um, in my youth so I'm I'm bright I'm not stupid but I'm there's no my means the best at, uh, at design or anything like that but I'm, I'm intelligent enough to know enough about safety of using tools etc but I'm always keen to learn so um, if you join me on this um, on this course of um, videos that I hope to produce um, that uh, I can learn from yourselves if you have your own experience or you can see how I do things and how things go uh, we'll wait and see how that goes but if you're interested I'm setting up a patreon um, um, link that you'll see below and I'm hoping that I can get uh, you on board and uh, watch what I get up to thanks very much bye bye